Welcome back. Today we're going to build an outside Halloween display. I started out my design by taping a few sheets of typing paper together and then sketching the design out on the paper. After that, I cut it out and laid it on the plywood that I wanted to cut it out of. This is 1 8 inch utility plywood that you can get from the big box stores. I thought about tracing the patterns onto the wood using a pencil. I just decided to mist over the patterns with some spray paint and it would leave the shape on the wood. Next, I used a simple jigsaw with a fine tooth blade to cut the shape out of the eighth inch plywood. When you use this reciprocating type saw to cut out the plywood, you want to make your cuts as close to some support as possible. I'm going to show you here that if you have the cut away from the tabletop, it's going to cause that plywood to start flopping and flapping and it's going to break the plywood. When using this saw, you want to make sure of where your left hand is at all times so that you don't cut yourself. And you want to make sure that you apply downward pressure to keep this plywood from flopping up and down. Now you use the jigsaw to cut out the shape of the witch and the scared cat. You need to take your time with this. The plywood is very thin and the thinner it gets, the more chance there is that something's going to break or crack. My strategy is to use a series of short curved cuts. The witch shape was far more intricate and a lot more opportunities to mess up. And you can see on my last cut, I succeeded in breaking the broom that the witch was holding. To repair the broken winch's broom, I used a combination of duct tape, wood glue, and a coat hanger wire to stiffen the broom up so that it would be ready for display. After the repair work, I misted it over with some black flat paint. I used some wire to make some stands and duct taped the wire to the figures so that the stands would be able to be stuck in the ground and hold the animal up. I took great care to make sure that the wires would line up with the feet of the animal or straight underneath the witch. And again, I used some heavy duct tape to attach the wire to the shadow figures. Now that everything is assembled, it was time to go outside and put everything in the yard. We had to play with the settings a little bit to get everything lined up with the wall. What we wound up with was the figures were about eight feet from the wall. The light was about nine and a half feet from the wall. The witch wound up 21 inches at its height at the top and 17 inches wide. And the cat became 13 inches wide and 10 inches to the top of its tail. The spotlight I'm using here is a solar powered LED spotlight from Lowe's. Its item number is 1479470. With these settings, it should be able to get you close to where your shadow would be on about an eight foot wall. Now bring on Halloween and the trick-or-treaters. Thanks for watching. I've got more to come.